totally just like stabbed my nail on the dining room table. That hurt. I am back with another Dollar Tree recipe and today I'm going to be trying to make like some sort of an Alfredo pasta. But the one thing is that I didn't really like the Alfredo sauce that I got at the Dollar Tree when I made the pizzas. So I'm going to try to make an Alfredo sauce using kind of unconventional <laughs> ingredients. Uh, so I am kind of limited to what my Dollar Tree has available on the day that I go there shopping and I kind of just let it guide me essentially like what their inventory is. So here's what I'm thinking um, I'm going to be using today. Alright, so first thing I got was a box of penne pasta. This is the Berea brand. It is a 16 ounce or one pound container. They do have a Dollar Tree brand that is 20 ounces, so you can get a little bit more pasta if you go with the Dollar Tree brand versus the name brand. But I didn't really think it would make enough sauce to cover a full 20 ounces of pasta, so I went with the one pound. Now for the Alfredo sauce, my kind of thought process was I got a block of this cream cheese notice cheese with a z that's because this isn't real cream cheese um which is kind of annoying because you can get real cream cheese at walmart for less than a dollar so don't understand why walmart or dollar tree sells fake cream cheese um the only thing i can think of is that it is for longevity or shelf life reasons um so this says it is a plant-based and dairy blend and supposedly it's just like cream cheese. So I'm going to melt this and mix it with a container of Parmesan cheese. So this is a 2.5 ounce container of real Parmesan cheese. They do sell a bigger container of a kind of fake Parmesan cheese, but I figured for this, I would use the real stuff. Um, for kind of toppings on the pasta, my thoughts were to use these roasted red pepper strips come in a jar. I thought that would be kind of a good addition. And then I wanted to add a protein. So initially I thought I would add shrimp, but my Dollar Tree didn't have any shrimp in stock. So instead I got this roasted garlic and herb tuna. This is a 2.5 ounce container and I realized that like this isn't going to really stretch too far through the pasta, but I figured some protein is better than no protein. So we're going to go with this. Um, feel free to add two packets, I suppose if you wanted to, um, to add a little bit more protein. Our last thing is I got this Bisquick cheese and garlic biscuit mix, and this is more of like a side dish kind of a thing. I really just wanted to see if these taste anything like the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay biscuits, and all you have to do is add water to this. So one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients, six dollars, hoping to get about six servings out of all of this. So let's go ahead and get cooking. So pasta is going, sauce is getting ready. I am really curious about this cheese garlic biscuit mix. I'm also really curious about this roasted garlic tuna. So I'm gonna pop these open real quick just because I'm about to make the biscuits anyways. I just wanna smell it. Let's see, oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. Oh, guys. That smells just like Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay Biscuits. And I can see it's got little chunks of like dehydrated cheese in the mix. Oh, if this is legit, I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm also gonna open up the tuna. Definitely never seen this garlic herb. It's interesting though, because it's got two portions to the pouch. 
And the first portion has like a little spoon spork thing so that you can just eat the tuna straight out of the pouch. I have never eaten just plain straight tuna. You have to let me know if you eat just plain tuna. Like even this flavored stuff, I've never just like popped open a can or a bag and just had at it. I don't really understand that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's not very garlicky. It smells very herby though. I mean, the only like spice that I really see in the ingredients is basil. So I guess it kind of smells strongly of basil, which is fine because that should go fine with a pasta dish. But we're going to see how this turns out. Let's make some biscuits. All right, so I am actually really excited about this because it turned out pretty much exactly how I had wanted. The only thing I will say is that the Parmesan didn't quite melt into the sauce like I had hoped, so it still has like a little bit of a gritty texture look to it. I haven't tried anything. I didn't try <laughs> the ingredients individually, so I have no idea. I'm going into this totally blind. Um, these videos have a little bit of an improvisation to them because I just kind of wing it most of the time but this is the plate as you can see i portioned it out into little meal prep containers that was just so i could get an idea of what size a portion would be if you're serving six people and i feel like this is a pretty reasonably sized portion i mean this is a pretty small plate these are the types of plates i usually eat off of myself um i will say that for a serving of six, this is around 630 calories, which is kind of high, but it's a pasta dish. And you know, if you're on a limited budget, calories aren't really the primary concern in general. But let's go ahead and dig in and give this a taste. I'm excited about these peppers because they smelled really good out of the jar. So um, <laughs> I almost said it's a dakimasu because I watch a lot of Emmy made in Japan and other weird videos, but let's give it a shot. Hold up, that's actually really, really good. The Parmesan lends some saltiness to it. The pasta is nice and chewy, perfectly al dente. The peppers are pickled, which I guess I should have known that. So they have some tang to them. And then the tuna with that garlic and herb flavor just seasons the dish perfectly. Like you can, you can taste tuna, obviously. I mean, if you're not a tuna eater, then substitute something else. But like, you literally check all the boxes, like saltiness, tanginess, creaminess. It's, this is actually fantastic. I'm, 
I'm pretty impressed with this one. Mm-hmm. Second taste, still really good. Big fan of tuna, so that might have something to do with it too. Now for the little biscuits that smell just like Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I love that you only need water to make these, which makes them super inexpensive. They had little pieces of like, I don't know if you can see little pieces of freeze dried cheese in them. So they should taste really cheesy, hopefully very garlicky. Let's see. These are dangerous guys. These are so good and so dangerous. I have no words. I cannot believe that I made this dish totally winging it, all with ingredients from the Dollar Tree. Like, this is so good. Um. I'm kind of floored right now, I'm not gonna lie. I think that these are good sized servings. I think they're a good amount of calories. It tastes really good. Don't buy the Prego Alfredo sauce, just buy the Parmesan cheese and the cream cheese because it definitely makes a really good Alfredo sauce. And you can add more pasta water if you wanna thin it out a little bit more. Make whatever tweaks you wanna do. Use canned chicken instead of tuna if you don't like the tuna, although I will say that you should probably add some garlic or something to it if you do the chicken, but I'm going to keep eating this. I hope it reheats pretty well. I'm not quite sure. It does look a little dry right now. I probably should have added a little bit more pasta water to the sauce to thin it out a bit more, but thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.